Hi, this is Jason Donaldson, VP of Marketing with Spider. Today we're going to review the Spider Electra with eyes. This Electra has many improvements over previous models, including a reduced overall profile measuring 25% lighter and 15% shorter. This Electra has built-in eyes to prevent paintball chopping and comes standard with the Leap circuit board developed by Tadao Technologies with a rear-facing color access mode display, showing you which mode you are in, along with the eye status and battery status of the marker. The Electra is compatible with a premium 9 volt alkaline battery such as an Energizer E2 or Duracell Ultra or a Spider 9.6 volt rechargeable battery to achieve optimum performance. Let's go ahead and open the box. Okay, inside we have included your product manual. Hang on to that, all the instructions for your marker are inside this product manual. We have also included your warranty registration form. You can uh, fill this form out and send it in to us. It's good for a one-year warranty. You can also fill out the warranty registration form on our website at www.spider.tv. Next, we have our spare parts kit. There's cup seals, O-rings, ball detents, and tools that you're going to need to work on your marker. Hang on to the spare parts kit. Let's go ahead and pull the marker out of the box. We'll go ahead and insert our barrel. And lastly, we have included a barrel blocking device. This is a safety device. Should be used at all times when you're not out on the paintball field. Go ahead and put it around the front of the barrel. Take the back strap, put it around the back of the marker, and we're set. Let's get started. I'll show you how to insert the battery. Let's get started by inserting a battery into the marker. You'll want to use the 2.5 millimeter Allen wrench included in the spare parts kit to remove one side of the grip panel. Remove the side that is facing up when you remove the marker from the box. This is the side that the Electra logo is on. Remove all three screws from the grip panel. Find the battery attachment and plug in your battery. Now you're ready to place the battery in your marker and screw your grip panel back on. Powering up. To power up the marker, find the power button on the rear of the trigger frame. Push this button once and the marker will power on. Once the marker is turned on, it will start up in semi mode with the eye set to on and the safety set to on. The safe mode indicator lights up in red at the top of the display. The eye icons light up in orange when the eye is engaged. Operations of circuit board. Changing modes. Eye operation. There are two buttons on the back of the marker to change your settings. The power button on top is also the eye on off button. Push this button once to turn off the marker eye. The orange eye icon will turn off. Push the eye on off button again to engage the eye. The light will turn back on. The bottom button on the back of the marker is the mode button. This button controls all three modes of operation which include semi, ramp PSP, and ramp millennium. This button is also used to turn safe mode on and off. Press this button once to turn safe mode off. The red safe indicator will turn off and the marker is ready to fire. Push this button again and the safe mode indicator will turn back on, indicating that the marker is in safe mode. Let's go ahead and change the different firing modes. To do this, press and hold the mode button for 3 seconds. The mode you are currently in will start to flash. You are now ready to select your firing mode. Push the mode button once to cycle to the next mode. When you have found the mode you wish, to use, you can push and hold the mode button for 3 seconds until the mode indicator light stops flashing. You are now ready to use the marker in that mode. To power down the marker, push and hold the power button for 3 seconds. All the lights will turn off and your marker is now off. Trigger Adjustment Your electric marker comes with a 3-way adjustable magnetic response saber trigger. There are 3 screws that you can adjust. The screw furthest from the trigger sets the magnetic strength. Screw it in to increase the magnetic resistance and screw it out to decrease the magnetic resistance. Screwing it out will also create a lighter trigger pull. The middle screw adjusts the trigger distance from the electronic switch. Screw it in to bring the trigger closer creating a shorter trigger pull. Screw it out to pull the trigger further away from the electronic switch. The screw closest to the trigger adjusts the post travel of the trigger. Tightening this will shorten the back travel of the trigger after it has set off the electronic switch. Firmly hand tighten your CO2 tank or compressed air tank clockwise into the marker's CA on-off adapter. To pressurize the marker, turn the CA on-off adapter knob 
towards the on position. To increase your velocity, take the Allen key provided in your spare parts kit and turn the velocity adjustment knob clockwise. This will increase your marker's velocity. To decrease the velocity of your marker, use the Allen key and turn the velocity adjustment knob counterclockwise. The velocity of this paintball marker ranges from approximately 240 to 300 feet per second. Regulator adjustment. To adjust the air pressure in your spider electro marker, loosen the regulator adjuster lock screw located on the bottom of the regulator adjuster knob. Next, use the open-ended wrench provided within your spare parts kit. Turn the adjuster knob clockwise and this will decrease the regulator output pressure. Turn the adjuster knob counterclockwise and this will increase the output pressure of the regulator. Disassemble of the rear internals. To remove the bolt from the marker, pull the top cocking knob up. This will detach your Delrin bolt from your striker bolt. Now you can remove the Delrin bolt from the marker. To remove the striker bolt from the marker, using the wrench, turn the striker plug counterclockwise located at the rear of the receiver. This will allow all internal parts such as the velocity adjuster and spring guide, striker spring, striker buffer, and striker bolt to slide from the rear of the receiver. Remove the striker plug only with the marker in the uncocked position. This will prevent the internals from springing out because the striker spring is compressed. Place your finger behind the striker plug before removing this. This will prevent the marker internals from springing out. And that's an in-depth look at the Spider Electro with Eyes. I'm Jason Donaldson. I'll see you next time.